Welcome to our channel. Today we discuss about sleeping pills. There are mainly two types of sleeping pills. Benzodiazepines and non-benzodiazepine drugs also known as Z-drugs. Benzodiazepines Benzodiazepines are a group of CNS depressants which induce feelings of calm. They act by facilitating the binding of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA at various GABA receptors throughout the central nervous system. Even though benzodiazepines are used to treat depression, anxiety and panic disorders, because of its sedative properties they are also used to treat insomnia and sleeping disorders. Examples of benzodiazepines include alprazolam, Xanax, clonazepam, clonopin, diazepam, Valium, and lorazepam, Ativan. Some of the most common side effects of benzodiazepines include drowsiness or sedation, dizziness or lightheadedness, confusion or memory problems, slowed reflexes or impaired coordination, headache or blurred vision, nausea or vomiting, dry mouth or throat, constipation or diarrhea, changes in appetite or weight, changes in sex drive or ability. When used for a prolonged period, they can lead to physical dependence, and discontinuation can cause withdrawal symptoms. Some of the common withdrawal symptoms of benzodiazepines include anxiety, insomnia, irritability, agitation, tremors, sweating, nausea and vomiting, headache, muscle pain and stiffness, seizures, in severe cases, the severity of withdrawal symptoms can vary depending on the individual's dependence level, the type and dose of benzodiazepine used, and the duration of use. Withdrawal symptoms can appear within a few hours to several days after the last dose and may persist for several weeks to months. It is essential to gradually taper off the medication under the guidance of a healthcare professional to minimize withdrawal symptoms and prevent complications. Non-benzodiazepines Z-drugs work by binding to a specific type of receptor in the brain called the GABA-A receptor. These receptors are responsible for inhibiting the activity of certain neurons in the brain, which can help to promote relaxation and sleep. Z-drugs enhance the activity of GABA-A receptors, which leads to an increase in the inhibitory signals in the brain. This ultimately helps to induce sleep and can improve the quality of sleep. Some examples of Z-drugs are Zolpidem, Ambien Zaloplon, Sonata Esopiclone, Lunesta Some common side effects of Z-drugs include Dizziness Headache Nausea and vomiting Daytime drowsiness Memory problems Dependence Behavioral changes, rarely, Z-drugs can cause changes in behavior or mood, including agitation, aggression, and hallucinations. Sleep-related behaviors, Z-drugs can sometimes cause sleep-related behaviors such as sleepwalking, sleep driving, and sleep eating. Withdrawal symptoms of Z-drugs Withdrawal symptoms can occur if someone stops taking Z-drugs abruptly after using them regularly for a period of time. The severity and duration of withdrawal symptoms can vary depending on the individual and the specific Z-drug used. Some common withdrawal symptoms of Z-drugs include Rebound insomnia This is the most common withdrawal symptom of Z-drugs. It is characterized by difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep which can be worse than before the medication was taken. Anxiety Mood changes People may experience changes in their mood when they stop taking Z-drugs. This can include depression, irritability, and agitation. Tremors Tremors or shaking of the hands, arms, or legs can occur during Z-drug withdrawal. Sweating Headaches Nausea and vomiting Seizures, although rare, seizures can occur during Z-drug withdrawal, particularly if someone has been using high doses of the medication for an extended period of time. It is important to seek medical guidance when discontinuing Z-drugs to minimize withdrawal symptoms and ensure a safe and comfortable process. 
A healthcare professional can help create a tapering schedule to gradually reduce the dose of the medication, which can help minimize withdrawal symptoms. Thanks for watching the video. Don't hesitate to comment your experience or suggestions on sleeping pills in the comment section. Please do subscribe for more mental and physical health related videos.